Easter. It's beautiful. Because we have such a population right now where we have to, like, I mean, North America, it, said, it is said that if you to, were to lower the meat consumption by 10%, you would have, you could feed the rest of the world in the grain products because that's how much energy it takes to feed all the cattle and, and, and so forth. I definitely think there's two sides. So there's many sides to creating sustainability within our, the way we live today, and there's many solutions. And I just kind of threw that out there. Sorry. Oh, no, but that's a big part of it. That's a huge part of it. I think one of the first steps to creating solutions like the sustainability living is kind of what I've, what I've been talking to with people in Victoria, and just creating sustainability in Victoria and living off the land and creating food, right? And it's, and it's small, but it's a start. Well, yeah, it's and then there's the whole other side of the political side and the economy side that is huge and the whole world needs to change. But there's too much to take on, right? But you got to start grassroots. Exactly. You have to start in your own corner. Totally. So that's and something that's, like that's, that's but, uh, part of the problem. I mean, obviously things will like will domino if, if you're if you're starting in your own corner. You know, mm -hmm. it, that's where you have to start. But, I mean, something like you're saying, of, like a project of growing food in Dallas Road, like there's so many people who, there's just so much bureaucracy in politics and like that's the whole problem with this planet is that there's all these like white men who are just like trying to fulfill their egos who are leading the planet and they're all like, let's pretend to talk about things and not actually get anything done and know like there's just so much time being wasted on like egos and roles like that. It's a time frame too. But there's also so many people who just aren't open to, that are just really close-minded because that's the way that they've, that's what, how they've been brought up and that's what life is to those people. Yeah. And so many people would come in here and say that we're all like stupid hippies and, you Basically, know? Basically like the technological